Hi, this is TH Culhane for Solar Cities, and we're going to be grinding up food for the biodigesters that we have at Mercy College, which have started to produce biogas after about six months of dormancy because of the polar vortex and the fact that they were outside and froze. So we're at May, I think we're at the 22nd of, 26th already, we're at May 26th of 2014. Um, normally, we grind our food in the Insincorator food waste grinder, food waste disposal that is here in the sink, and ours uh, has this on and off button, that you can see here, the air button. However, because of the management of the building prohibiting the use of Insincorators here because they're still responding to urban myths, that they might clog the pipes. We're not supposed to use this one, and anyway, this puts the food waste out and gives it to the city, which is great for them and not so great for us. So I went to Home Depot yesterday, and I got the cheapest insincorator for our trials here. This is the Badger 100 for about uh, $89, and then you have to buy the power cord for another 11 So for about $100, you have an insincorator. And then the, um, this module here, which is the air switch, like the one that you saw in our sink there, this piece costs $60. So that's a fairly expensive piece, but it's good for us for our field applications to be able to remotely turn on and off the insincorator. Another thing you can do if you don't want to do that is you can just get a, uh, a cord with an on and off switch like this for about 10 bucks. But uh, the air switch is a helpful thing to have. And because I travel a lot, I'm always uh, wanting to have a uh, simple solution, and this allows for that. So I plug this in here, and, and that enables me to turn on the insincorator. Now, what I'm doing for applications where we don't have sinks handy is... And let me actually pull this out for a second is I'm taking my insincorator and a bucket becomes my sink. And I put the, uh, the mount of the insincorator in the bucket, and then I'm able to carry my insincorator around with me to different sites in the bucket. I usually carry two buckets, and this one can actually stack inside this bucket if I want to. And then I can go to a site where there's food waste and take this apart and then install my insincorator like so. Hold on a second. And so what you do is you just put your insincorator on the flange like this. And then Now you take that and put it on the garbage can, which we no longer need to use, and put this underneath. Maybe it would be better to go like mm -hmm. that. There we go. Okay, so we've got our insincorator in there, and now we take our food waste and put it in, and then we will take some water. turn on our insincorator.
ground up food waste. Just gotta let the water come out of that. And now we're going to take that food waste. So this is our slurry that we're going to take to the biodigester and this way you can uh, grind up your food in any location and then carry it over to the site where you are going to feed your biodigester. And you can also use this on the porch for uh, composting, it'll turn into a nice soil in just a few days rather than months. So grinding food waste we call this the compost companion. And in this application, we're going to use it to make biogas and liquid fertilizer for our aeroponics gardens. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll uh, get back to you with our results.